seen as a place for creating and developing new ideas, as a laboratory of new management ideas, new cultural ideas and so on. Rotterdam is um, an interesting city. I would describe Rotterdam as a very modern, um, business-oriented city. There is a good amount of Dutch and immigrant population. There's a lot of things to do, but you need to be a local to be able to, to get to know all the, the great things that the city has to offer. When you're in the city center, you don't see that much students, so uh, I wouldn't say it's a student place at all. But... It's a harbor city, so it's quite nice. Yeah, it's a good feel. planning to stay in Rotterdam because it, the city doesn't attract me that much as a city to live in for the rest of my life. The companies do not value my international experience as uh, a plus comparing to all the students, especially Dutch students who speak Dutch and I don't. I would like to stay in Rotterdam after graduation if the right opportunity came up for me. A big city but very few opportunities for international students. Um, I would prefer to stay for example in Amsterdam where you just have more um, city life, more facilities on the street, more bars. If there are opportunities for me to be here, I, I would like to stay here after I graduate. I will always be a foreigner and I'm here already for a year and a half. Still don't know the language and it's very hard to find a job. So this probably will be one of the biggest reasons I don't stay here. I do think that Rotterdam is an international city. There are many international students at the university, for example, but in the city itself... I would say it's not international. It lacks some more international people outside the university. I do not feel it still has its metropolitan feel, just like Amsterdam or The Hague does. Not as international, maybe, as it's portrayed as being. Still very Dutch. I think there should be more help for students, for example, in RSM, who uh, who are going to be assisted to learn the language and get accustomed to the culture here. I don't think uh, Rotterdam is a very vibrant city. If you make it a bit more compact, um, that you can just keep it vibrant also at night. I think that Rotterdam can be a vibrant city. Well, the city has its nice places, but you really have to get to know them. It's just uh, business from 9 to 5 and that's it. It's not really social. It's just a place to work and to live. That's how it feels. I think it, Rotterdam is not as vibrant as, for example, Amsterdam or Utrecht. I love going out uh, going out here, but that maybe is uh, after I met my boyfriend who showed me a little bit of the Dutch side. You can do something on every afternoon or every night. aspects of Rotterdam are that it's well as I mentioned before very modern it's business orientated it has a great university and yeah it's quite international I also think that it's a, a it's a center for many companies Rotterdam you can have your own space at the same time if you want to go out there's some really nice places the great public transportation system it has the new building we have crowding the class which is always a plus in, in, in summer. You can go sailing if you want to in the little lake. I feel like Rotterdam has a great port. It has one of the biggest in Europe. So I feel that there's a lot of companies here that work in the port, trade, of course. The important points are maybe for the architecture to be finished. Rotterdam could have more international events happening. There should be a, a better feel for, for the international community. Offer more international companies for international students to find jobs here. And a little bit, something that annoys me personally is traffic in the city as well, in the morning and the evening when people come home. Yes, I think uh, multinational companies are well represented here, just looking at Unilever. I definitely think they are represented. Multinationals are well represented in the major energy sectors like oil and Unilever, of course, the headquarters is here. No, I, I, I don't feel that they are. I really I was a bit disappointed about that, uh, coming to a, a great uh, business school like uh, Rotterdam School of Management is. The main headquarters of international corporations are mainly in Amsterdam to, to the airport and to the capital stages, Amsterdam. Yeah.
There are some companies, for example, like major advertising companies and major sort of music companies which are not represented. And I wish they would be more so the youth would get more of a chance to do some other stuff as well. Companies in Rotterdam that recruit international students are the only one I've been in touch with personally that really wants internationals is uh, Unilever. I would presume Unilever and Shell, but besides, I, I'm presuming, I'm not sure, but yeah, I would think these ones would. I wouldn't really know if there's any company recruiting international students in Rotterdam. Yeah, there are a few. Um, Unilever. Um, but they are not searching for um, international people. It's a matter of whether they're concentrated on the Dutch market, if their office here is concentrated on the Dutch market, or maybe it's the HQ for Europe. So, yeah, you never know. Most international companies that present themselves as very international, in the end, if they have the choice between a Dutch person and an international one who doesn't speak Dutch as fluent, they just prefer the uh, Dutch person. Well, I think there are also smaller ones which are not known and which are who are also looking for uh, international students. Rotterdam will never be New York. It does have the potential. I used to live in New York City for five years. Uh, it has a long way to, to go, but uh, in 10 years, I mean, we can already see some improvements in, in Rotterdam Center. The city is too small for that idea, so you can't change it. You, I think it's also the culture of the people which you can't change. In New York, as as many inhabitants as the whole Netherlands, I don't think you can compare those two cities. I think everything is feasible. I am not one that says that nothing, uh, that things are impossible. There's a lot of work to do in terms of uh, ensuring that there is a, a certain vibe. If, it, if he can figure out how to get that buzz in, I think it will work. But if not, it's going to be, yeah, it's going to take some work. <laughs>